it is super exciting to see how a plant gets commissioned and a lot of engineering efforts have to be put in in order for a plant to be commissioned a lot of departments coming together it is an amazing sight to watch a plant being commissioned and also a lot of engineering errors are also caught at this point so here i'll share with you one such error which had happened during an on off valve installation so the first thing is the site supervisor was trying to look in as to how the pipes are being installed and as the pipe installation was taking place a lot of instruments were being put like for example a pressure gauge had to be put in a lot of pipes elbows had to be put in for example T's, joints, etc. But while doing all of this, a special case came in, and that case was for an installation of an on-off valve. What happened was the on-off valve was not meeting with the pipe flange, and the operator or the person felt that oh, it could be because maybe the size is not matching. That is the common philosophy which comes in, right? But when he checked here, what was the size of the flange of the on-off valve? It was basically. 30 inches and what was that of the pipe it was again 30 inches now this was confusing he said oh finally it could have been maybe that the flange rating would be different but both of them had the exact same rating 300 pounds now this was confusing so final option could have been that maybe the flange standard or the facing is different but you know what that was also same it had the same flange facing and the same flange standard now what can go wrong understand this concept let's get a bit deep into it here first we'll try to understand the basic concept here the end connection of the pipe that we were dealing with was what it was a flanged connection so basically a flange has two standards that come into picture the first one being that of as may be 16.5 and the second is 16.47 16.5 is used up till 24 inches and 16.47 is from 26 inches up till 60 inches so for our case if you see what was our case we had the flange size to be around 30 inches of the valve so which standard should be recommended here or used is 16.47 now let's dig deep into this standard and also if you're passionate about instrumentation please subscribe so next week we learn another new video now getting to the standard so as may be 16.47 the flanges are further divided into two separate flanges which are series a flange and the series b flange now we'll understand in little bit into why these standards had this segregation into a and b flanges and how did it impact our case study so let's get into that so the first thing is that if you look into the flange having series a and try to compare it with a flange having series b you would realize that series a flanges are usually a little bit more heavier as compared to series b flanges and series a flanges are usually a little bit costlier as compared to series b flanges and a bit stronger as well but the key difference lies somewhere else only if we try to compare the 150 rating to both the cases and check the sizes what will realizes the bolts that were used for series a flanges are usually 28 bolts and with a diameter of 1 and 1/4 inch uh, diameter and here you are going to see that the number of bolts that have been used are 44 bolts with 3 by 4 inch dia that means series b has far more bolts as compared to a that means that we cannot have these interchanged that means a series a will not meet with a series b which happened in our case now you would have the next question when should we select which one right when should we select series a flange or when should we select series b flange so as a thumb rule what we can say is that series a flanges should be usually selected when you are having a critical application and series b flanges are usually selected when you have utility applications for example now as an instrumentation engineer how would you know what to select so other than the thumb rule you can select is by knowing by the document called as pms which stands for piping material specification in this document if you'll read you would realize that the piping would surely specify 
what should be their flange material and flange especially the series so if they're using a series a flange it is recommended that instrumentation valve should also follow the same and you should take care that the vendor should also give the same series especially this is missed out in the data sheets and special care must be taken for this case also on a side note i would like to share that i've written a free ebook on engineering standards there have been 2500 plus downloads from top engineers from shell dow dupont etc the link is given in description below if you like it you can download it until next saturday happy learning and take care